Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, we're pushing to 4,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and thank you for all the support. So Kendrick Perkins said, go ahead, give me a slap across the head when the Miami Heat were struggling. I was like, it's time to trade Jimmy Butler. Kendrick Perkins made Richard Jefferson slap him for saying the Miami Heat should have traded Jimmy Butler. He should have done more than just slap him because at the end of the day, one minute he's saying, you know, you can't take these dudes or these goons in Miami, and then one minute he's saying that the roster sucks. Now, we all know that they do this for clicks and views. But anyways, when you really look at the Miami Heat, they'll never really play the way you want them to play. They'll never win the way you want them to win. They do everything the way they want to do it. So what I mean by that is Jimmy Butler, he won't take the regular season seriously. You know, fans get upset. The team looks like it's terrible. You know, Bam and Tyler can barely carry because Jimmy's out. You know, we're in the eighth seed and then boom, as soon as All-Star break comes, Jimmy Butler turns into Jim VP and then the Miami Heat are rolling. Right now, I honestly think the Miami Heat can make it back to the Eastern Conference Finals, especially with the 76ers, no Joel Embiid. Now now you have the Milwaukee Bucks, Doc Rivers, a terrible coach. Damian Lillard, he he doesn't want to be there. Chris Middleton, he's been pretty much hurt the whole season. Now, like I said, is it going to be easy to play the Boston Celtics? No, but I do think it's possible. With Eric Spolstra as the best coach in the NBA, Jim VP, Bam Adebayo, one of the best two-way players in the NBA. Now, can Tyler Hero stay healthy? And then also, too, with the veteran leadership of Patty Mills, Kevin Love, DeLon Wright, all these guys on this roster, Caleb Martin, and the list goes on. Jaime Hawkins Jr., he's been balling. Nikola Jovic, he's starting for the Miami Heat. Listen, I am never going to count this Miami Heat team out. But then at the same time, I understand why NBA fans do. Like I said, we don't have guys that can jump from the free throw line. We don't have guys shooting from the logo. We play boring basketball, and a lot of fans really don't want to see it. And the NBA and ESPN and First Take, they'll never give us our credit until we hoist that championship, until we're going down Biscayne Boulevard with that championship. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 4,000 subscribers.